Do you know that this is in the Bible? Do you? Sadly, there are some people on this earth that do not want to be helped. They do not want to be helped. And Jesus warns us what to do in these situations. Yes, he does. We need to pray for them. That's the first thing. And then in Matthew chapter 10, verse 14, just listen to this. If any household or town refuses to welcome you or listen to your message, shake its dust from your feet as you leave. So if you're trying to help somebody right now in the spirit and you're trying to open their eyes so wide open and they do not want to accept it, literally shake the dust from your shoes and also let somebody else help lead them and guide them as obviously they do not want to hear it from you. So if they don't want to hear it from you, shake the dust, my friend, my brother, my sister, shake the dust and move on to people that don't even know you who will be willing to listen to what God has to say to them. Don't leave out of bitterness, but leave with a heart that you are still willing to pray for them and asking God to drop other people into their path to show them and lead them and guide them. I've had to do this in my life for people that are loved ones to belong to me myself. I've had to do this. Some people did not want to hear nothing what I had to say, but what I prayed was, Lord, please in Jesus' name, put strangers in these people's paths. And I have testimonies already that I can talk to you guys about, but we're going to save that for another time. But listen, God works, okay? God works. So if you have people right now in your circle, they don't want to hear nothing from you. And the Bible also says a prophet is not welcome in his own home. I'm not declaring I'm a prophet, but if we're to be used as disciples by God Almighty, by Jesus, to reach other people and people of your own household, people people of your own family members, people of your own town, they don't want to hear nothing because they just all they want to do is judge you on your past, which you no longer live there, by the way. Um, and if they just want to judge you and condemn you and mock you, make fun of you, it's okay. Let them do it. Let them do it. That's between them and God. You kick the dust from your shoes and you just leave. You pray for them and you move on to other people who are willing to hear from you. Trust me. There's so many people in this world that's hurting. There's so many people out here that need help. You keep doing God's work. Keep staying in the Lord's will and he's going to take care of you and you will be used for his glory in Jesus name. Do not be discouraged. Rather, look up and thank God for everything that he's doing through you. In Jesus' name. Have a great day, guys. Love you.